Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share our video, and turn on notifications to be the first to know about new videos. Just as Dylan is about to jump, Bran saves him by hugging him from behind. Baron is very afraid of losing Dylan. He holds Dylan's face and asks if he is okay, and Dylan hugs him. When Mr. Hassan pulls a gun on Bran and says that he must die, nephew, Baron also draws his gun. Meanwhile, Firet comes and, unable to understand what is happening, draws his gun on him. Finally, Miss Sabiha comes and when Haven asks if she should stop it, Miss Sabiha replies, let whatever happens happen, Dylan is safe now, but it is too late for the others. Baron's uncle shoots Hassan Bey in the hand. Dylan was very scared of the gunshot and when she got worried about Baron and asked him if he was okay, Baron said I'm fine, how are you, and hugged her. While Firet takes his father to the hospital, Baron takes Dylan in the car and leaves. Spyhat is so angry at Mr. Hassan that he tries to kill Dylan and follows Baron. While Severi is trying to explain to Ms. Meltem where Yagmar is, Yagmar calls out for mom and jumps into Severi's lap. Ms. Meltem is very upset about this situation. Ms. Cater learned that Mr. Hassan took Dylan by force and when she told Ms. Azade that she was worried about Dylan, Ms. Azade got very angry. From now on, Ms. Azade tells us that there is no memory of his name in this house and that he deceived us all. Most of all, she is very angry that Baron's heart was broken. He says that Ms. Cater and Ghoul Dylan are very good and such a thing should not be real. Ms. Azaid warns her that everything I say is true, but Kadret will not hear anything I say, and sends her away. Baron drove to the beach with Dylan. But he is very angry, he asks Dylan why you ran away and didn't you think about what might happen next. When Dylan says I didn't tell anyone that I ran away, Baron says then who did he learn from? When Dylan replies, it would be heard anyway, how long would we keep it secret? Baron says, as far as he goes, until the end of our lives, if necessary. Firet learns from his father that he ran away with Dylan of his own free will and gets angry at Mr. Hassan because he thinks we cannot punish him for killing him. When Baron asks Dylan, do you see the consequences of what you did? Dylan says, if your uncle hadn't forced me to the top of the mountain, you would have been saved from me. When Baron says you won't go anywhere from now on, Dylan replies, why don't you leave me? Baron says to Dylan that he almost wanted to be without you, but after telling Dylan that people will become murderers because of you, he grabs his arm and puts him in the car. Miss Sabiha comes to Mr. Hassan and shakes Hassan's injured hand and threatens him by saying, how can you do something without me knowing? Dylan's hair will not be harmed. If anything happens from now on, I will know from you and leaves. After Miss Sabiha leaves, Firet comes to the room and when asked what this woman wants from you, Mr. Hassan replies, am I going to be held accountable to everyone? Upon Mr. Siat's insistence, I enter the house. Ms. Meltem is subjected to the sarcastic remarks of Ms. Hanif and Ms. Severi. When Mr. Hassan comes home with Firet, Ms. Azade gets very worried when she sees him injured. Firet says there is nothing to worry about, but Mr. Hassan makes his mother feel sorry for his mother by saying it is a minor but bullet wound. Haven asks Sabiha Hanim about her conversation with Mr. Hassan. Ms. Sabiha says she cannot harm Dila from now on. When Ms. Azade reacts to Dylan's arrival, Baron gets angry saying she is Karabe's wife and I will break anyone's hand that reaches out to him. Mr. Kudrat makes plans to go fishing with his son Chihan. While Baron is talking angrily with Ms. Azade, Mr. Kudret comes. When Mr. Kudret asks what happened, Ms. Azade changes the subject so as not to announce it to him. Later, Bran asks permission for Dylan to rest for a while before we go up to our room. Dylan, who makes eye contact with Ms. Cater and Ghoul while they are leaving, realizes that they are acting towards him and gets upset. When they come to the room, Dylan thinks about the moment when Baron took Dylan from the cliff, while she says that there is a rift with her family and if I go, everything will be fine. 
Baron then says, I know this, just don't cause any trouble. When Dylan says let me go, I'm not very interested in you either, but it's not possible, you don't see, get used to living like this, we are both prisoners of this room. When Dylan says why did you save me if you hated me so much, she gets the answer from Baron that I saved my family, not you. Baron is crushed under the weight of his experiences, but he tries not to let Dylan notice. He can't stand it again and brings dressing materials to Dylan's scratched leg. Meanwhile, when Ghoul informs him that Karim Bey has arrived, Baron goes to him. When Ms. Meltem left the Severy family, she was very upset that Yagmer did not pay attention to her and explained on the phone that she would not leave her daughter there. Karim says he heard what happened and asks how they are. She tries to find out what Baron wants to do next. Baron explains that he is afraid of what his uncle Hassan will do, so he does not want to leave Dylan. Karim then asks Baron to take a look at the documents as the launch date is approaching. Karim asked where the launch would be and they decided not to invite any strangers, let it be at the mansion. When Fyred asks Baron how he could shoot a bullet at my father, Baron turns around and walks away, saying that your father also tried to kill my wife. When Ms. Azade catches Dylan alone, she immediately makes threats to him. At this moment, Baron comes and asks what is happening here, everything I thought about in the past is coming true, if your father hears these, it will hurt his heart. Baron replies, don't worry, I won't do anything to upset my father. Ms. Azade replies, I trust you, okay, but I won't trust those who shake my trust once. Realizing that the bandage on Dylan's leg has been removed, Baron bends down and wraps it again. When Dylan says that you are punishing not only me, but also your family and everyone else, Baron says this is the price of believing in you. Dylan asks how long will it take? Baron says until I say it's over and leaves the room. Ms. Abiga comes to the mansion to meet Baron and meets Ms. Azade, while Mr. Kudrek comes and introduces them. When Dylan says that he stayed with Ms. Sabiha, Ms. Azade doubts Ms. Sabiha. She thinks that Dylan has another relationship with Sabihan Hanum. Meanwhile, Baron took Sabiha and went to his study. When Ms. Sabiha says, I'm curious about her, I want to see her, Ghoul asks if she wants anything and says, can you call Dylan? Sabiha Hanum interrupts Dylan's promise that if he is not safe here, he can stay with me until he arrives, saying Baron is safe with me. When Dylan comes into the room and sees Ms. Sabiha, his face changes and says, Mrs. Sabiha, I was very curious about you, I couldn't rest until I saw you. Dylan says, I'm fine. Miss Sabiha asks Dylan, can you take me with you, and they go out. When Dylan says I was going to come, but I want some more time, Miss Sabiha says no, you will stay here a little longer. When Dylan says I will do whatever you want, as long as you don't touch Baron, Sabiha leaves from there, saying it depends on you. Miss Sabiha tries to find out everything Baron is hiding about his launch. His new plan is to use Dylan for this. Dylan fell asleep on the edge of the bed. Baron comes and watches her for a while, then kneels down by her bedside, caresses her hair and kisses her. Sonar puts a pillow under his head, takes off his shoes, looks at the wound on his leg, gets upset and covers it. He lies down at the other end of the bed and watches Dylan. You can share your valuable views with us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to see more videos. See you in other videos. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.